Town ball history runs deep in Belle Plaine, dating all the way back to 1885 when Tiger baseball first began. Since then, the Tigers have made 14 trips to the Big Dance, four of which were runners-up, and in 1994 won the Class C state title. The team history includes seven Minnesota Amateur Baseball Hall of Famers, including father-son duo Gary Mize Meyer and Brent Meyer. Brent was the manager of the state title team in 94, but baseball was introduced well before he was even born. And I'm coaching third base. One of our guys are up and hits a towering fly ball, foul. Comes back over this thing as typical of women at the time instead of, you know, instead of moving or something, hits her right on the stomach where the our eventual son was going to be born. And I always said that's why Brent became a baseball nut because he got hit before he was even born. <laughs> the field itself makes it hard to pick which character trait Tiger Park catches the most eyes. One of the deepest center fields in the state, topped with flagpoles in play on the warning track, add ivory that surrounds the park, and you might just get caught staring in awe. And the ivy was a big uh, ad, and I think uh, uh, maybe, the, maybe the best idea we've had out here in my time is you can only do so much at a ballpark anyway, so, but that's a big one for us, but uh, I love it. I think uh, it's just kind of the way, it just adds that kind of more natural element. It's more like playing in your backyard when you're a kid. Like most town ball teams in Minnesota, the most important relationship is the one the team has with their community. And for the Tigers, it's one they cherish and value. It's, it is a community event. It, we draw a decent crowd on our Friday nights when we have games, uh, Sunday evenings, you know, depending on the weather. But it's nice that the community supports this field, supports the team, supports everything about baseball in this community. Tiger Park and Belle Plaine are gearing up for the state tournament this year with lots of effort going into getting the park ready for the big dance. I hope they, they take away like the hard work that went into, like some of the upgrades that went into it, the, the field upgrades, the people that um, on the board that take care of the field, the people in the community that take care of the field and make it, and make it into the way that it is right now. Friday, August 16th marks the date for the first game of the state tournament from historic Tiger Park.